liberal viewer present. So last week I made a video about how I had watched several stories on Fox News covering the multiple criminal convictions and sentencing of Vice President Dick Cheney's Chief of Staff, I. Lewis Scooter Libby, and that the people on Fox News seem unable to refer to Libby's convictions for lying, perjury, and obstructing justice as crimes, even when the word crime was the obvious word that fit in their statements. I even showed one Fox News clip from June 5th that many of my viewers found particularly amusing because in that clip, Fox News anchor Edie Hill really seemed to struggle to find a different word than crime to refer to Scooter Libby's crimes, as you can see here. We got word early this morning that the sentence might be even longer because of the severity of the, uh, the um, uh, investigation that he was charged with obstructing. So, after making that video, I continued watching Fox News coverage of Scooter Libby's crimes because I was curious to see if anyone on Fox News would ever use that forbidden word. And on the June 10th edition of Fox News Sunday, my patience was rewarded with this question from host Chris Wallace. Brett, what's the merits of this? Should he be pardoned? I mean, the, he was not convicted of, of leaking the name of Valerie Plame. On the other hand, there was a lot of evidence that he was guilty of the crime he was convicted of, which was lying and obstructing justice. What are the merits for a pardon? And Chris Wallace's question seemed to open the floodgates with every member of the panel discussion except editor of the Neocon Weekly Standard, Bill Crystal, using the word crime, as you can see in this little crime montage I put together. It was a crime, the underlying crime. Lying to a federal official is a crime. You know, the fact is he was convicted of an actual crime. On the essence of who outed Valerie Flame, which is to me a bad thing, <clears throat> there was no resolution that's clear uh, in terms of whether or not a crime was committed. But in terms of lying to the grand jury, Bill, come on, there's no question. No. Now, my previous video showing Fox News employees seeming to avoid using the word crime was actually one of the top 10 rated videos on YouTube on June 9th, so it's not impossible they saw it over at Fox News. On the other hand, thinking people on TV are responding to you is a big warning sign of psychosis. So let me ask what you think. Is it possible that Fox News's use of the word crime on June 10th to describe Scooter Libby's criminal convictions was in response to my video that was one of the top rated videos on YouTube on June 9th. And after this week's news that unless something changes, Scooter Libby can't remain free during his appeal, I have to ask the bigger question. With Scooter Libby's sentencing judge ordering him to go to prison probably in the next six to eight weeks, will Libby serve his time? Will he receive a presidential pardon? Or will he actually flip on the Bush administration and provide testimony against them to avoid prison? I YouTube, you decide.